Welcome back tennis players. I want to show you a rundown of a 15k tournament in Cancun, Mexico. I want to bring you on the journey so you can see how it is. Let's jump into this video. So one thing I could tell you about this specific tournament is the stretch to come in is very long. It's about 10 to 15 minutes long to get to the gates of the tournament. The roads are very, very, very bumpy. So once you get into that stretch there is going to be a security guard at the gate waiting for you to figure out what you do in there so either you're a player or a coach or a fitness instructor you'll get registered and everything will be fine so that it'll be a smooth sailing approach when you enter because you do not want them to overcharge you when you're at the gate especially when you do not stay on site the ground is full of stones and sand you hear the clonk clonk in it's not your heels honey it's the sand on the rocks right now i'm going to take you to the entry this is where Everyone goes to sign in. This is where you go to sign in for practice courts. This is where you go to see where the draw is posted. This is a place where you ask all your questions. This is also the place where is the lounge area. This is the place where you get your Wi-Fi the strongest. This is the place where you have a, in this store, at, the store is closed at the moment, but in this store you can get Gatorade, you can get Pedialyte, you can get water. The Gatorade is for $3, the Pedialyte is $3, the water is $1, there's a Starbucks there, uh, cappuccino is $3 I think or $4, you can get chips, a toothbrush, you can get sunscreen, this is for little quick snacks. This is also a place where you can sign up for the mall at 7 p.m. every day. I'm going to walk with you upstairs. These stairs are the walk of fame. Usually there is definitely dogs in this place. There's two dogs. I don't know their name. They're very sweet. They're not going to mess with you. You're walking upstairs. You get in the view. You can see the courts from your dorm. I'm going to show you the bathroom. The bathroom is very small. It's a shared bathroom. So there's two dorms basically with a shared bathroom in this specific travel I didn't have to share the bathroom praise the Lord and you have a toilet you have a shower you have a sink you have windows if you want to keep it open I would not because we are in a mist of a forest so you don't want any animals like spiders tarantulas or anything else coming and visiting you in the night or in the day so I keep everything closed I'm going to show you the room as you walk in you're going to see three beds three twin looking like beds the refrigerator has all my juices it has everything that i need to hydrate i put all kinds of things in the fridge i put my oatmeal in the fridge if in case i don't like the breakfast there in the morning they have typical eggs you know how it goes they typical eggs french toast pancakes fruit parfait yogurt all those good you stuff you see my closet it's a little messy so i ain't gonna show you in there the cafeteria but this cafeteria is basically you sign in so the times that you want so if you're gonna eat breakfast from 7 a.m so you'll put 7 a.m Aquila james and whatever room you're staying in the game room people don't know about this but there's a pool table there's a i forgot what you call this one but you're like this you basically have men and then you have these little balls and you don't want their balls to go under your thingy thing and they have like a couple of games you can play cards in there you can do loads of things in this game room but nobody really goes there except for the dogs so this is a place that is kind of underlooked so yeah approaching the courts you're going to see the swimming pool on the right hand side you'll see that's a big space people usually stretch there or you get like a beach chair and you lounge around i would try to get wi-fi you get you do get wi-fi there so i'll take my beach chair get a cup of coffee sit down and just enjoy that view and you can see the tennis courts right in front of you which is perfect so i usually do that these tennis courts as you can see they're very blue they're hardcore they're kind of slow so you have to make sure that when you're getting adjusted to this place specifically Cancun it's very humid here so you want to kind of hit through the ball if you are into that or you kind of want to stay consistent but the main thing when you're out here is to hydrate a lot of people cramp on these courts because it's so hot and they're so not used to this so please hydrate if you decide to come to Cancun and make sure you do not forget any little snacks that you will usually eat and 
Make sure you don't forget your electrolytes. That is a big thing and your vitamins. These cords, I would say they're really nice. They look nice. They have umpires for all the main drum matches, singles and doubles, and I think the last round of qualities, I'm not sure. So it's really fun to come here and play these tournaments. If you've never played these tournaments, it's pretty cheap coming from New York or Miami. Your flight should not be more than $300 round trip, which is not bad. So these tournaments usually are for three consecutive weeks or four to five consecutive weeks. Another thing I want to tell you is the sun here in Mexico is so beautiful. And I had to take a time lapse of this sun because it was just so lit. This is basically how a 15K tournament is look and is ran. Sometimes you have a gym, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you have access to a gym, sometimes you don't. Tell me if you want to see more videos like this at other tournaments or not what do you want to know when you start your first itf tournament let me know in the comment section thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i hope this video is very informative for you peace